Hi lovies, it's me. It's a cold, cruddy Sunday, so I figured I would take this time to film a video. I know it's been a couple of weeks since my last one. And, um, yeah, so <clears throat> here's a shock. It's going to be about tarot. I know my last video, <clears throat> excuse me. I know my last video was on all of my, um, divination tools and all that fun stuff, but, uh, since that video, I have really taken to trying to teach myself tarot, specifically the major arcana. Um, I've been trying to look up classes in my area, but believe it or not, there's really not much out there in terms of um, tarot. There are tarot readers everywhere. Um, so if I ever needed to have someone read me the tarot, I'd be good. But in, in terms of finding someone to actually... Uh, interactively teach the tarot that's a little more difficult so I've decided to take it upon myself to learn and I've been focusing primarily on the major arcana right now because I don't want to bite off more than I can chew I tend to overwhelm myself pretty easily so if we could take it one step at a time and so the decks I should say the deck that I am using to teach myself is believe it or not not this one this is uh, just the classic Rider Tarot deck. And guys, I'm going to be that person. I do not like this deck at all. Like, not one teensy bit. I, I got it because I knew that it is a deck specifically for beginners. It is the traditional. It is the first. It is the introduction to all other things tarot. And guys, I just, I can't. I can't. I've forced myself to kind of work with it, and by work with it, I mean get to know the cards, you know, look through them, become familiar with them, and the connection's just not there. I, I mean, the, the colors I don't like, the images I'm not really a fan of, and I, I know I'm probably so horrible for saying that, but it's the, the truth. I can't, I can't deny it, so... There's that. Uh, the deck that I actually chose to use, and I'm sure you're all going to be shocked to hear this one, and by shocked I mean not surprised at all, is the Vikings Tarot. This deck, I'm sure I've told you because I've talked about it in every video since I've gotten it, has really just become my favorite thing. I cannot be without this deck. I need to have it with me at all times, even though I still have no idea what I'm doing. I don't read for anybody. Um, I barely even read for myself yet. I I do daily draws occasionally just to see if I can, you know, familiarize, familiarize myself with the cards and stuff like that, but it's kind of become a third limb. I love it so much. I need to have it with me all the time. And what really makes me sad is when I decided to start teaching myself and when I decided that I wasn't going to use the traditional rider weight and instead use this one. I wanted to research the deck. It's a low Scarabio deck. And so I figured, okay, they're a popular publisher. Like, there, there must be something out there on this deck. And guys, there's like nothing. And that really broke my heart because, well, it's, this is my favorite deck of all time. I have a few, as you guys have seen. And I haven't been able to connect with any of them as well as this one yet. And there are no videos no reviews as far as I've seen, and I don't know why. I don't know why. So I kind of wanted to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison, not even on purpose. I had these two decks out because I was going to continue on with my studies today anyway, because it's horrible outside, so I figured why not. And I noticed that the images themselves are pretty similar, despite there being a entire mythological belief system difference. Please ignore the huffing and puffing that you hear, by the way. He's asleep, and he's been dreaming and snoring and just having a rough, rough time sleeping. So if you hear any grunting, grumbling, and otherwise huffing, that, that's the big guy. Um, anyway, so I was looking through the two decks, and I find them to be pretty much similar enough that I don't see why the Vikings Tarot can't be a good deck for a beginner. And now... Being as 
naive as I am in the whole subject still, obviously I'm not going to force anyone to believe me or agree with me or anything like that. But I kind of wanted to do a brief um, run through just of the a few major arcana cards specifically because that's what I'm looking at. And, and you can see that they're similar enough. And I guess my experience with the Viking Tarot, it's just been very friendly, very welcoming, very forgiving. And I just, I can't say enough good about it. So far, my experience has been so positive and I love it so much that I want to share it with the world because there isn't anything out there. So we'll start with the Fool. Um, the first card you see, well, actually, no, the first card you see is the Magician, if I'm being super specific. But as you can see here, subtle differences, but close enough. You have this gentleman here. In his lovely little tunic. And then you have my love, the bratty Loki. And that's actually, I'm not going to lie. When uh, the store clerk told me about this deck, I picked it up and I was holding it in my hand. And he was like, oh yeah, you know, the fool, he was telling me all about the cards. Because I guess he's he was pretty familiar with the deck himself. Um, he said that he used it. wasn't his go-to, but he enjoyed it. And... Uh, was telling me that Loki was the fool card, and anybody who knows me lo knows that Loki is the absolute love of my life. So, I had to. I had to. But as you can see, similarities in some of the structure and the symbolism. Certainly not the colors. I'll give it that. I do enjoy the watercolor look more than the bright, harsh colors of the Rider weight. There's the magician. You can see here, it's subtle differences facing different directions. Instead of the symbol above his head, he's got a rune here. So that there are differences. I'm not saying that the cards are exactly the same, but they're similar enough that when I'm, you know, when I read, obviously when I'm the books I'm reading primarily focus on the structure and traditionalism of the Rider Waite deck. But it's easy enough to apply to this deck here, too. So it's been a very positive experience thus far. I have no complaints. I guess visual-wise, I would like the borders of the Low Scarpio deck to be a little different. But that's neither here nor there. A lot of their cards look like that, so... I will not complain. But like, look, like, look, look at Odin. As the Hierophant. I just, I, I can't. It's so nice. <laughs> I love it so much. I, there's, I, I can't say enough about it. The images are subtle enough that they're not overwhelming, but they get the point across. And I love that. I love that. Like, look at Thor. Chariot. My birth card, guys. So, pretty badass. But yeah, I mean, you know, obviously I can't sit here and say that this is the deck to go to. Or like everyone should be like, you know, Ooh, let's go get, and get the Vikings Tarot. But I wish that there were, it, it got more recognition than it currently does. And if there is recognition going on in the interwebs I don't know about, bring it to my attention. Because... I am I am Team Viking, so let's let's make that a thing, guys. Hashtag Team Viking. <laughs> All right. Well, I thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go continue on with my studies and put these bad boys to work. So as always, love and blessings, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.